Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and Fab. Fab is finally here. If you've got no idea what the heck a Fab is, you're looking at it right now. This is the amalgamation of a number of different properties that uh, Epic Games have purchased over the years, including Sketch Fab, the Unreal Engine Marketplace, uh, Art Station, Quixel, and so on. Basically all been put together into a single asset store. Uh, supposedly game engine agnostic, as you can see down here, Unity is currently supported as is Unreal Editor for Fortnite, and of course Unreal Engine is in here as well. So we're going to take a quick look at Fab itself. One thing I did notice with this change is the uh, Unreal Engine integration doesn't show up yet. And there's a couple of other things to highlight here, including Quixel Mega Scans available for free. I will show you how to get that. The good news is, and this is why I didn't cover it back when it was first announced, uh, you don't have to download all of those things individually. There was a script to do so, and I had a feeling it was going to change. And the process is much easier. Basically, all you do is click a button, and then they are all yours. But you can claim all of them available right there. Uh, so do that before the end of the year, and they are yours to keep forever. So this is the new Fab interface. We'll go on down, we'll take a look at an asset here. So here is a saloon. You can see which uh, platforms it was supported by. Uh, first hand over here, you can see Unreal Engine and FBX formats are included. So you could use this with another game engine as long as you are compatible with FBX. Uh, and you can see screenshots of the assets just like you could before. At the same time, you can come in and actually see 3D model examples. So here you can see the bar in a 3D render. It gives you an idea of what you're dealing with. And here is another thing, again, uh, in a 3D render. This is taken straight from Sketchfab. Uh, this was functionality they had before. So you got some details of how to set it up. You go ahead, you can see wireframe over top, if you wish. Uh, you control the scene inspectors, so the metalness maps, the UV maps, and so on. Or you can maximize and go full scene. Also, you can get details of what makes up that particular object. So definitely a uh, much nicer integration in terms of um, seeing the assets you are looking at. Again, you can drill down by game engines now as well. So here we are, for example, in the Unity stuff. And uh, they, uh, they don't really have the same kind of sorting or quality you currently see with... Um, the Unreal Engine stuff, I, I'm sure that's just an accident. Obviously, you're gonna have a lot more uh, Unity stuff in here. As you see, it comes with Unity format. There's additional files available in FBX. Again, pick the model you wish to look at. You come in here, you can see rendered stills of it. Uh, this one does not have a 3D model. So it doesn't seem like 3D models are universal. Uh, most of the things I looked at did have a 3D model, so it must be up to the seller. Now, one of the things I do want to point out, and this is kind of a negative about Fab, is you're going to see this, and I'll explain exactly what this means in a second. Uh, but yeah, that's that's a new change. It, it can be a good thing. It can definitely be a bad thing as well. See a breakdown of all the various different things by the, the types they are. You can see a library of all of your assets here. Uh, now, interestingly enough, it's not showing my uh, Unreal Engine assets in, so I think you're going to have to use the old Unreal Engine system to get a hold of the assets you've already purchased, uh, and that's actually kind of annoying. And if you want to go ahead and publish up onto Fab, details are available here. Uh, I think they use their standard 88-12% split, so you get 88% of the profits, which is nice. There's a couple other things going on with this. There is a six-month offer of uh, Substance Painter and uh, Substance Modeler as well, I believe that was. Uh, the other thing you'll notice here is they did have a uh, get your free content here. So the free content is still available. Uh, now, interestingly enough, and I don't know if this is a glitch, uh, they had five things this month, but only four of them are showing here. Uh, but go ahead, grab your free content. Yeah, there, so interestingly enough, it is showing that I own it because I do own it from the other side. But when I go to my library, it's not there. So again, they just launched, so maybe this is one of those things that in time, uh, they'll start showing up. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm not showing my content from uh, Unreal Engine right now. Although interestingly enough, if you go to Unreal Engine, to your uh, the Epic Games Launcher Unreal Engine library section, all of your content is shown there. Uh, so it might just be a storefront thing, I'm not 100% certain, but all of the free stuff uh, that you've acquired over time, it's all there. Uh, it does seem to take a little bit of time to load in initially, but yeah. So all of your content is still there in the Epic Games Launcher. For some reason, sure. Uh, for some reason, though, it is not showing on the Fab site. So hopefully that is resolved in time or that is something that is going to change. But anyways, that is the basics of Fab itself. Another interesting point, again, is the free Substance 3D uh, giveaway. We'll get back to that in just a second. Uh, oh, wait. Publish a listing or make a purchase of over $25 and you get six months on us. So it's not free free. It's free if you buy something. 
So uh, I want to point out the change in the license. This part is a little bit, um, I don't know, it, it could ruin some things about the library, the way it's worked so far. But what they've done is they put in tiering for the license. So they got this detailed right now. Content may be offered at different licensing tiers. Before completing a transaction, you may be required to select between a personal reference only tier, a personal tier, and a professional tier. So you're going to have three tiers now. You will only be eligible for personal reference only tier or personal tier if at the time of the transactions, you together with any controlling entity and other entities under common control with you have not generated more than $100,000 in gross revenue from your commercial activities in digital content industry in the last 12 months. For purposes of this calculation, revenue includes any advances received or funds raised if you complete a transaction uh, for a license you were not eligible for at the time of purchase you may upon request pay epic the remainder that you would have owed to purchase a license tier that you were eligible so yeah that is definitely a change and i don't know that that is going to necessarily be a great new change so other things here so again mega scans you can get them for free uh so basically come on in since i've already claimed it it's not here but basically when you come to this page which is linked off the fab page uh this button here will be claim that's it log in claim they're all claimed so where the heck are they they are on your quixel profile now this is also a bit of a kludge and a pain in the butt and hopefully it's something that they fix over time so here we are on fab in the Quixel section. So all of your assets will be here now. Uh, uh, so yeah, you have to pull them down individually. So if I wanna grab Junkyard, for example, I come in here to the Junkyard, and let's hope the performance doesn't stay this way forever. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, here we go. Uh, you can download it from here. So all of your Quixel assets are going to be available. By the way, go and grab them regardless to what game engine you work with. Do this before the end of the year because this freebie ends at the end of the year. Uh, but once you've got them, just come on in here. You can download them, agree to the terms of the license agreement. <laughs> okay, now it's actually making me read the agreement. All right. Yeah, I read that. I'm a fast, fast reader. Uh, then accept it. And then download. So again, we're looking at day one, which is a little, a little slow at times. Uh, but you can see all the individual assets in this place. So you don't have to grab everything. You could just grab the low quality version of it or grab the raw version or the higher quality version of it, which is a nice thing. And you can see the license that's available under here. Uh, Unreal Engine files are available in your vault in the Epic Games Launcher or in the UE5 plugin, which does not is not live yet. I think it was meant to go live today, but it didn't. So the good news on the Quixel side is it's super easy to redeem all of them. So that is a nice part. The bad part is right now they are a part uh, and there's a, they have a readme basically saying that they're they're going to be fixing this over time. And then they've got the six months of Substance Painter Modeler free. Again, the condition is that you either publish something or you make a purchase of 25 USD to get a redemption code on us. Now, the, the funny thing here is it's looking like it's encouraging people to put up like, because uh, you can put Creative Commons up, assets up now, by the way. So just put up something Creative Commons, like make a button icon in a PNG. You can upload it, and boom, you can get Substance Painter 3D for free for six months. I, I'm not sure why they went that way. Actually, it's Painter and Modeler, by the way. Uh, so that's available out there as well. And now we're going back to the announcement of it. So Fab, Epic's new Unified Content Marketplace launches today. Uh, One-stop destination, you discover, buy, sell, and share digital assets, and it is now live. This is the successor to Unreal Engine Marketplace and the Sketchfab Store and the new home for Quixel Mega Scans. This new marketplace supports all types of creators, content across Unreal Engine, Unity 3D, Unreal Editor for Fortnite, and other digital content creation tools. I believe they're going to be offering more game engine support in the future, but I'm not 100% sure how integrated those are going to be. But as you saw from the earlier one, it's available at FBX. You can just download it and use whatever engine you wish anyways. Uh, Unreal Engine developers may be able to access Fab directly in the, um, will be able to directly in Unreal Engine 5. Editor Fortnite Creator uh, can discover uh, Fortnite ready assets through Fab in UAFN. Fab has been integrated in UAFN for a very long time, uh, but it's undergoing maintenance and will be back online shortly. And the Unreal Engine 5 editor is coming soon. I've got a feeling very, very soon because I actually think it was meant to launch with Fab. So, uh, what can you find on Fab? The browser extensive content library, including 3D effects, VFX, and then you've got kits from Group, group companies like Kitbash 3D, Decagon Studios, Lurtez Studios. Use channels to find content compatible with Unreal Engine, UEFN, and Unity. Choose the license that meets your needs. So yeah, this is where things changed again. So there's now Creative Commons license and personal or professional tiers of a standard license. The Fab standard license will enable you to use the assets, including mega scans in any game, engine, or tool you want. Um, so don't know then of a standard license. I'm not sure if a personal 
standard will allow you to use it in other game engines or tools. I'm not 100% certain. That's a little vague to me. Uh, acquire the Quixel Megascans library for free through the end of 2024. Free for use with all engines and digital content creation tools. It is one click and you get 17,000 assets, which is pretty awesome. Uh, again, it is in that uh, one page only for right now. Hopefully they get that fixed eventually. Uh, make informed decisions about what you want to download. So 3D asset inspections. We saw the viewer earlier on. Uh, you can see on each page details if a product was created with the help of generative AI. You can use filters to include or exclude generative AI products from your searches. Now, one thing you won't see though, and I don't understand this decision at all. What you won't see once this eventually loads, you got, you got ratings, but you've got no more text ratings. I think this is stupid because honestly, I find the five star rating completely and utterly pointless. And it's the text descriptions that actually tells you because sometimes people are just dumb when they're in it. And, you know, like, oh, uh, this, this wasn't for CryEngine, one out of five stars. And you kind of like, oh, okay, well, I can dismiss that guy. But sometimes those ratings basically say, this hasn't been updated in five years. Do not grab this. And that's a very, very valuable thing. So then removing text ratings, that I don't like. Uh, find assets that are right for your audience. So there is mature content, gate, you can get age gating basically in place. Uh, also mature content cannot be used in UFN because of the maximum age rating over there. Uh, the six month redemption is available. We talked about that earlier on. And some of the things that they're going to do uh, over the coming months, we will continue improving the user experience, including new content and shipping new features. Plan to introduce a new file formats, including Roblox and Minecraft assets, access to meta humans, a new listing review system. So hopefully, in that case, we get some kind of a text rating back because just going to stars only, that's dumb. Uh, product specific FAQs, a pipeline to make it easy for creators to publish content directly from UEFN to FAB, uh, and new analytics to enhance the seller experience. In 2025, we're making a cross section of the Megascans library free for all users, regardless of which engine or platform they are using. Starter pack will contain more than 1,500 hand picked assets, including a variety of popular 3D assets, plants, trees, surfaces, decals, imperfections, and 10 pack. Quixel released on Fab's launch day. Again, also before the end of the year, grab your 1,700 or 17,000 free assets. Just it's a one click. Just go and do it. Uh, hope you'll join us on this journey to create a community and marketplace for all your digital content needs. Head over to the Epic Developer Community and follow us on social media to stay up to date uh, on the future of Fab news. Uh, so they've got a list of known issues right here. So uh, ratings do not appear on product listing pages. The products receive five or more ratings. Uh, we are fine-tuning search to improve the accuracy of results. Uh, if you have a publisher and attempt to upload a product with a non-Latin character in the file name, and so on. So basically things there. Uh, now, the one thing, again, after you claim all the Megascans, you can access them from the Quixel profile on Fab, but they will not be added to my library at this time. We are working on a solution to add all your claimed assets to my library as soon as possible. Uh, hopefully that also involves porting over the stuff that you already own from the Unreal Engine marketplace, but I have a strange feeling that they may not do that. Uh, you also currently cannot remove something from your library and you can filter by listing time, but you cannot currently filter by category in my library. Uh, plugins and projects that you acquire may appear in the fab integration, but if you attempt to install those file types from the fab integration using the add to project, you'll encounter an error. Plugins and projects must be installed from your Epic vault. We will replace the current button to prevent encountering an error state and fab integration in UEFN is undergoing maintenance uh, and the fab integration in Unreal Engine is coming soon. Again, I have a feeling that that was meant to ship today and didn't. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So there is, that's fab. Uh, basically it's the, the next iteration of the Unreal Engine marketplace, but available on multiple different game engines. Category search up here. Let's search for horses and see how well it does. That did reasonable. Nice thing here is you've also got filtering that you never had before. So that was one of the frustrating things before. Let's see horses in Blender format. Yeah, there you go. So it's going to be much more useful outside of Unreal Engine. Um, but yeah, that's it. You can also now do a lot more advanced searching. Let's get rid of all the AI stuff. And yeah, so uh, that is fab, the new fab, uh, definitely better than the UE marketplace, at least in terms of the interface. It's nice that it has opened up to other game engines and technologies. Little disappointing about the license. I can understand how it gives creators more flexibility of how to publish, but I can also see that making I don't know. I, I don't know what that lighting licensing actually is going to do. I can see potential downsides to it, but I'm curious what you think. What do you think of fab of this new iteration of the new licensing structure, everything else? Oh, and the lack of uh, review comments. That's definitely annoying. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.